What's up guys and welcome to Mr. Farmacon and winter is coming. Yeah, but anyway, this is gonna be a discussion about the Wolf Among Us supposed leak of DLC. Now, I wasn't gonna do a video on this because I was like, ha, this is so fake. But some of you were like talking about this and I might as well go ahead and do it for you guys. So let's go ahead and look at it until and I'm gonna tell you like why I think that is fake. So first video the guy put up, which is not removed, but was re-uploaded from some other guy was basically a picture of the title screen of that episode and you see start episode 6 and then you see special episode the winter wolf now the winter wolf winter wolf itself is Big B's mom's name or what she goes by and it's also one of Big B's several daughters no, no, set, one of his daughters he has several children so winter wolf is one of his daughters names so yeah Let's go ahead and put it at that. And you see, supposedly, Big B in his trench coat. You see, uh, and that's pretty much it. You see him in the winter snowish stuff. Now, problem I have with the title screen is there are two, three things that I noticed that was wrong about the title screen. Which I, which why I think it's, that it's fake. One, you start episode six, that font is wrong. You see how it's all pointy? While in the regular, the actual real font was like a more smoother type thing. I'll have a picture on the screen, you can, I'll compare it. And you can see that the font is really not the same. So, let's go ahead and look at the Winter Wolf thing. That font, definitely a bit closer, can't really tell because this dude is using a camera. Come on, man. You, you know it's fake when the person uses a camera instead of using actual recording software. So that's another thing. But also, you know how uh, in the video, it's just, it just a, like a static image. Like in episodes one through five, you see you know the the background moves a little bit, like very slowly. Like you barely notice it, but it moves around. This one just stays still. Now, if it were to be real I would think that, that the snow would actually you know move around a little bit or something like that or maybe what maybe itself move around a little bit but it's just a static image it's just there so that's what I think of the first video the guy put out and then the guy goes ahead and puts out a second video which is I think it's like the one where he zooms out and shows you the whole thing you know the font still messed up Oh yeah, the other, the other thing I noticed is that in the first video, it didn't really have a back button. It probably because it wasn't really zoomed in. Yeah, yeah. It had no back button. Like when we go to, back to the previous episode. So yeah, that was a mess, mistake. And then the guy fixed that in the second video. You see it's more zoomed out. And you go ahead and clicks. Start episode 6. And you see it more zoomed out. You see the change, save files, and everything else. Supposedly, it stop. It starts through the usual Telltale Games consent. Not even a, not even never mind. But anyway, um, and then it shows basically the sky and snowing and stuff. And then you see this giant light in the sky that looks like the spirit portal from Avatar. <laughs> Anyways, and then it says outside Nod's books, Fable Town. Now, Nod's books is a real bookshop in the fables comics so nice attention to detail there <laughs> but I still don't, I still think it's fake you know anyone could have just went to the fables book and like hey what would be a good idea for DLC hmm I'm gonna go ahead and pick Nas books because hey why not and then in that video he also shows books now reason why I think the books are fake too it's because the graphics look really bad. I mean, Tilted would not do no, just no. But the guy says, well, when you when you see in the video, he has the books. The five, there are five books that you can go ahead and select. We have Snow White, Bloody Mary, The Big Bad Wolf, Little Boy Blue, and Jack Horner, which I think is just Jack from Episode Two. So. Yeah, pretty convincing. I like that idea though. Nice, nice job with that idea. I wouldn't have thought about that. That'd be pretty awesome. But Bloody Mary, why? Why is she there? Is it, isn't it supposed to be like like a sequel, not a prequel? 
before, and I just like really just not seeing what the guy's trying to do. But hey, but yeah, um, for the most part, I don't really think that this would be something that would happen. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things wrong with the what the guy's showing. But hey, let's go ahead and examine the third video, which he gets the he gets the only book, the Big Bad Wolf. He gets that book to work conveniently. And he, he goes ahead and quote unquote loads it up. And it shows a wall of text talking about all the big bad wolf and everything else. And conveniently, it's just a bunch of text. Now, in the in the third video, it also comes up with a small little scene of somebody running. Which obviously, I guess, will be Big B because you see the whole trench coat. You can barely tell, dude. Like, I mean, if I were to leak something... And if I were truly passionate, like, hey, this is real, I would record it with a legitimate recording software for PC. I would not dare in my life ever try to leak something through camera. That's why you know that it's fake. But yeah, that's what I think about this. I think that it's fake. Interesting idea. Nice detail in the leak, I gotta say. Very nice try. It is very convenient, very convincing. I gotta say the the second one is the most convincing for me because you know outside Nas books and then the whole book and then you know everything else. So yeah, I only think that is real for a reason that I stated. But tell me your thoughts. Do you like the idea of what this guy is trying to get out with this whole leak? The idea seems pretty solid. He's trying to imitate that whole 400 days thing. With the whole, what, what, what the five stories and everything else, and then you know have have a a book shelf with five books, kind of like in four hundred days whenever they had that bulletin board with five people. So yeah, very interesting idea, very convincing leak. But obviously the final verdict for me is that it is fake. The guy seems to be fixing things like the font and stuff like that as he goes along, as people as he you knows some people are saying things about this thing. And he fixes some of the things that he's missing in previous things. So, yeah, final verdict, I think that it is fake. I don't believe until Fraps is used or any other recording software or until Telltale says otherwise. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been the final cut. And tell me your opinions about the leak. I know people on the forum are like, please, let this be real. People are just so hungry for some of the content and... You know, much as I wanted to, I wanted it really, really bad. I wanted DLC really bad, but that I won't. Let, I won't let the fact that I want DLC just, you know, misshape my mind and be like, "Hey, this is a guy to be real." But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like the video if you guys did enjoy. This has been a Frankun, and I'm out.